Hello, this is Keith Lamont. I'm working on another modding tutorial for AI War 2. Last time we covered how to modify the XML, the configuration of the game to make fighters go really fast. Just sort of a trivial example of how to impact the game that way. Uh, and then it only involved an ordinary text editor, Notepad would do. Um, didn't need any special software for that. Today we're talking about the um, the external C sharp code, and you will need a program for that. It's not special, uh, especially if you're a programmer. I'm sure you've already got something that'll compile C sharp code uh, well, if you work with it. So, so uh, I'll give you a recommendation on how to get that done, and, uh, and then show you how once you have a compiler, what you do. So, the compiler. I suggest is Visual Studio Community Edition, and it's free. Uh, you, you go to visualstudio.com slash downloads, you click that button, you follow the instructions, uh, it, it may take a little while, but you'll have the compiler. Um, if you have a Mac, you can also get the same tool here. Uh, I haven't tried, I don't have a Mac, I haven't tried that, I don't know if it works, but um, I imagine it probably would. If you use Linux, you can use MonoDevelop. I'll provide a link for that in the uh, video description. Uh, or you could try using Visual Studio Code. Okay, I don't know how that works. I never tried it. So, you've got a compiler. Once you have the compiler, um, close these. Okay, here's your Steam install. Here's here's my Steam install. This is not my development environment. This is actually my Steam copy of the game. So um, you can see here's the executable. Here's external code and external visualization code. Um, most of what you want to do is probably an external code. Although, for instance, if you wanted to do one of those galaxy map display modes that I mentioned um, in a recent video when I was implementing them, you'd, this is where you do it. So um, in the external code. See that SLN file? Um, that's the solution file. That's what you want to open. You can also get there using the csproj file, but it's just simpler to use the uh, solution file. Now, I'm using Community Edition 20, 2015, not 2017. So um, maybe some mismatches here in what you see, but it should be pretty straightforward. So for just a very, a very simple change we're going to do, um, here in MapGen, uh, this is in the seed normal entities function for the uh, the base map generator code used for all the other generators in this file in this um, code. You go down here to it's populating an AI planet. It puts down the controller. It puts down a warp gate. Uh, if it's uh, if it's also the human home world, then it puts down well, this is test ship stuff. Anyway. Here's where the warp gates are. Just to show you a simple change, how quickly you can get this done, you just comment out that line there that creates the warp gates. You save, you build. I use Control Shift B to build. Um, you can also use that button up there. It's built. Okay. We're going to come back over here to our game directory um, and just double click the executable to run it. Or you can run it however you want to. Yeah, it takes a moment to load. It's a lot of data that has to go off disk. And then start. And then we'll start the game. I don't know what that noise is. Um, it's like the uh, disabled didn't work. So it may take you a moment to realize it, but there's actually no warp gate here. I'll look over here. No warp gate. Here, no work. Uh, oh, we, yeah, we don't have Intel over right there. And so, yeah, that is. You, you, if you've done that, you have now modified the external C sharp code and it has impacted the game. Uh, I will do another tutorial showing you a, a less trivial change, uh, but I just wanted to get the basics out there. So, um, 
thanks for your time and your interest in the project and for your support. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.